Kalonzo Musyoka is a leader who I personally find very interesting. Prior to the August 9th general election, President William Ruto offered Kalonzo Musyoka a job provided he worked with him. The president also went as far as saying that he won't subject Kalonzo Musyoka to any interviews, that he'll simply take up his post and get on with the people's business. From 2013 till date, that has been the most solid offer that Kalonzo Musyoka has ever received. And guess what? He turned it down and he was sent on a one-way trip to oblivion on August 9. The man simply refused to work with Ruto. And for Kalonzo Musyoka, he's not even faking. He has a serious problem with President William Ruto, which even I don't fully understand the genesis of it. Perhaps one day they'll give us some insight as to what happened between the two. But nonetheless, Kalonzo Musyoka is a master opportunist and will work with anyone and everyone, even his worst enemies, provided there is something in it for him. And we saw that trait in full display during the Mashuja Day celebrations. Everyone in Azimio boycotted the function except for Kalonzo Musyoka. Even the organizers of the very event were not expecting him because he had indicated earlier that he will not attend and suddenly he showed up. As such, he sat on the periphery of the main dais. But nonetheless, in this video I want us to analyze why Kalonzo Musyoka attended that rally and what he was trying to achieve. But before we get into that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Ofula. I'll be the first one to pop up. Hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now, Kalonzo Musyoka made a U-turn and attended the Mashuja Day celebrations for two specific reasons, according to my observations. Reason number one, the opposition does not have enough funds to fund its own staff. The top brass of Azimio leadership had earlier on stated that they will announce a shadow cabinet to help keep President William Ruto's government in check. However, anyone sitting inside that cabinet will be drawing a salary. None of them will be doing charity work. They will need housing allowance, transport allowance, a basic salary that they can take home to their families. They will need Medicare. They will need a fully functional office and some might even require subordinate staff, cleaners, PAs, messengers, things like those. And all that equates to money. Money that Azimio does not have, at least not for the full period of five years. They don't have the money to fund a shadow government. Because the moment you're forming a shadow government to put in check William Ruto's actual government, you have to bring in brilliant people. They'll need to bring in Makau Mutua and other people of his caliber. And the price tag for that is definitely not cheap. So Kalonzo Musioka was there hoping for two things at the Mashuja Day celebrations. Number one, either he is given an opportunity to speak, then he uses that chance to say that they need money for the shadow government and he says it on national TV so that he can put pressure on William Ruto's government. Or he gets to speak one-on-one -on -one with someone who can make it happen, i.e. President William Ruto or Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa or even Kindiki. I'm sure he was hoping to rub shoulders with one of those people uh, after the celebrations and I'm sure he might have gotten that opportunity because there's so much more that happens after those celebrations that even the media don't get to see. So to avoid fracas maybe he didn't meet with uh, the people he intended to meet in public glare but he decided to maybe go to a private residence or to see them somewhere else because it could be suicide for Kalonzo Musyoka to be seen <laughs> to even be negotiating or having a good time with Kenya Kwanza leadership. Because automatically that will attract the ire of Raila Odinga. You know Raila Odinga betrayed those guys. In 2017, he did a handshake without his principles, without Kalonzo, without Musalia, and without uh, Wetangula. He went in on his own. So people who usually do such things, they're very wary. Even someone who lies will always think they're being lied to. So Raila Odinga might be looking at him with a very sketchy eye, trying to see what is this fellow really up to. So I'm sure Kalonzo Musyoka might have met with one or two of those people behind the scenes. He, he definitely did not go to those celebrations just because he's patriotic. I really doubt it. 
if he couldn't make it to the swearing in is it now that he's just suddenly becoming patriotic i don't see it happening no he was there on an agenda but sadly according to the day's events kalonzo musyoka was not given a chance to speak and he was seated far away from the kenya kwanza leaders you can even see in this video that as president william ruto was greeting people he had to go all the way to the very end just to greet kalonzo musyoka that's how far when i say he was at the periphery of the dais i kid you not he was literally if he crossed that glass i can't remember if it was a wall he would be with the other civilians the, the other kenyans now to corroborate this story of azimio leadership needing funds to fund their shadow government because i don't want someone saying that i'm pulling stories out of the hat just watch this video and i also want to actually ask uh, president william ruto he himself was expecting he was going to be leader of opposition ikitu ile aliangukia basha pane heshma for official leadership official position of this country we are going to announce our shadow cabinet shadow cabinet because we want to hold them to account complete with their own budget which will be presented i think one time bill okero if you remember jim presented um, um, an opposition budget because we must hold this country we have only this country to call home now the second reason behind kalonzo musyoka's uh, presence at mashujadi is to bug himself a job with the kenya kwanza government he seems to be sick and tired of tama king in the wilderness under raila odinga's leadership since 2013 and he's trying to keep his options open so that if Raila Odinga betrays him as he's done before and can happen again he can seek refuge in government and if government gives him a cold shoulder he can scurry back to Azimio the phrase Humpty Dumpty sitting on a wall definitely takes center stage on this one and it will be interesting to see which side of the wall Kalonzo Musyoka falls But I'm a solitary man that's just my opinion guys I'd really love to hear what you have to say about all this so please drop me your comment in the comment section below I'll do my best to read it and to give you a response in real time Now also if you're here for the first time please go on and hit the subscribe button and if you're watching from a different platform just head on over to YouTube search for David Ofula I'll be the first one to pop up hit the subscribe button and you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature If politics is something you're passionate about This is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe to. All right guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Do have yourselves a blessed day or night depending on your time zone.